if and statement. When using an if statement, you can join conditions together by using the and function. Let's say, for example, a person gets a sales bonus, but they'll only get the bonus if they have sold between 10 and 20,000 pounds worth. So we need to check to see if the sale is greater than 10,000 and less than 20,000. So both conditions must be true for the true value of 2,000 to appear. So we start off as normal with our equals if and then we open a bracket. The logical test is that both conditions must be true. The way we do this is we type in the word and and then we put a bracket and put in the different conditions after the and. The and is what tells us that all of the following conditions must be true. So the first condition I'm going to check is to see if B11 is greater than 10,000. Comma. The second condition that has to be true is that B11 has to be less than 20,000. Now I close my bracket. They are the two conditions that have to be true, so the brackets go around those two conditions with the word AND in front. That is the first part of my IF statement. That's the logical test, so now I put in my comma. If that's true, then the bonus is 2,000. If it's false, the bonus is zero. So now if I close my bracket at the end, I have my if statement. I have two conditions, but I've put them together, surrounded by the AND function to make sure that both of those are true for the answer to be 2000. If either of them are false, then the answer is zero. So when I hit the return key, I can see here the answer for 12,500 is between 10 and 20,000, so therefore my answer is 2. But as I drag that down, you'll see that I'm getting 0 for the next 3, but then 12,000 is between my 10 and 20,000, so I'm getting 2,000 again.